up our shenanigans down there. That's why I shouted him out. He definitely got it. Clubhouse shenanigans is in the room, so this is going on YouTube. Man. So, so Wait, what? Shout out to the, yeah, y'all right now. But um, again, everybody did not have a great happy Father's Day. Ugh, it looks like Kamora Lee Simmons and Russell Simmons. Russell Simmons is getting dragged for filth, um, apparently online. So, Tommy, I don't know if you want to read some of the text messages and then we're going to let Eric read, you know, the audio. But, um, girl, I mean, get into the audio. It's, but yeah, it's, crazy. it's um, bad work. There's a lot going on. Uh, Kimora's dragging him. The kids are dragging him. And it's just a slew of shit going on. So, there's a different link. I'm going to relink the story. So, we can start off with the daughter speaking out with the text messages, right? So, uh, Kimora Lee and Russell Simmons' daughter, Ayoki, decides to speak out on Instagram Live about her relationship with her father. It says, Russell and Kimora's daughter, Ayoki, uh, got really emotional on Instagram Live discussing her father's relationship with her. She claims that he is a horrible person and that she tries so hard to be on good terms with him, but it's just no use. Russ even joined in the live to say he is sorry. Um, any thoughts on this? And then here are the text message threads between them. It says that she said, you put us, you put all, all in just why I'm hoping and praying for you, hoping everything goes well. You called my mother a piece of shit. This is from Ayoki. He responds, neutral my ass. Don't appear in your media and your mother has stolen money and the love that she it has a love of my kids. She promised she is actually blank. So I guess they're blurring stuff out. Um, she wrote on top of that text with her own text saying, I've had enough. I know I may lose jobs or whatever. I don't even know. I was always daddy's girl, but see that in any picture. But he's been awful to me for years. I'm just here to tell the truth. She replies, you never will. And that's covered and said again, I will never speak to you until you die. Don't ever say that again. And she said, she did not steal. You lost it. He replied, she is a piece of shit. And then the daughter replied, understand you lost it with your own actions. Then he said, um, I guess it's the same text message just twice. And then she wrote something on top of that thread and said, it's like talking to a cruel child or something. No one and no, he does not financially support me and he hasn't given me a dime in years. I haven't even had a graduation gift, a birthday gift, let alone a taxi ride in years. So... Eric, if you can cue up the daughter of the emotional uh, Instagram live the daughter had. Because I don't like to have trouble for my dad. I have defended him every which way about stuff that I don't even know about. <laughs> I was like 15, not knowing what sexual assault was, and I'm still defending my dad. Like, my dad's a good person. I've been a good daughter my whole life. And so you're not going to say that I'm ungrateful or awful. This man is awful to me. He's done awful things to me. <laughs> and I'm just so tired of it. And all, and everyone just says, everyone loves your dad. Everyone you work with loves your dad. No one's going to back you up. No one's going to have you model for them because they all love your dad. He's a terrible person. <laughs> so if I never get any jobs ever again, then like, fine, I will go be a lawyer in the entertainment industry because I shouldn't have to lie or be bullied by a child. I have made so much I believe there's a I'll say please stop. I don't want drama. I love my family. I'm sure we'll all work it out. It's gonna be okay and I don't post anything because I want to have a peaceful family. But this is abusive at this point. And I really feel like my career is over, and it's fine. It's just... <laughs> and you threatened me with that, too, so... <clears throat> Maybe my career is over. You know what? I used to work at a refugee camp. I'll do that again. I'll be a doctor. I don't give a fuck, and I can never get a job in entertainment again. But you cannot just abuse your kids behind closed doors and not take accountability. Maybe I'll regret this when I'm older and I wanted to be a model and now I can't be. I don't know, but you don't get to do this. You don't get to do this. I'm sorry. And I, something tells me deep down that I'm going to 
do know, I'm not going to regret this. You don't do that. <laughs> it's wrong. And there's more tea. So that was the daughter response on Instagram Live. Who was that? Now, that is Aoki, Russell Simmons' daughter. Okay, but here go the thing. She keep using the word abuse, your kids. Okay. What happened? Did he not give you something you wanted? So this is a thing, Wack. We're playing Kimura next because Kimura goes into detail of what's going on. So it says Kimura Lee, his ex-wife, says... Uh, she tearfully begs Russell Simmons to stop attacking their children. She said he allegedly hit rock bottom and sends and sends him flowers, and li- but he lies and says they're not from her. So here's what Kimora had to say. Listen, the whole family's responding, Black. The whole fucking... This is I crazy. wouldn't give a fuck about the whole family responding because I saw situations where the whole family are being cahoots. I'm going to ask you one more time. Where's the details on the abuse? Was it I want a Ferrari and he said no? Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, so listen, there's one thing I know. If he's sexually abusing them, beating their ass, hitting them with a stick, guess what they're going to say? That's they a fact. That, yeah. That's what they're going to say. Okay, so my thing is, when you use words like, you can't abuse your kids... You're gonna be. You're gonna say what the abuse is. Absolutely. What a daughter and a mama got to say don't mean a motherfucking thing to me, because they already knew what they was gonna say before they said it. It sounds like what she was trying to say the abuse was him threatening her with, uh, like you know, removing access to things and and you can't have a job in entertainment anymore if you do that. So that's how, what I heard. No, that's no, not abuse. No, 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 abuse. no, no. No, that's what she, she was saying. Met- yeah. She could be making an assumption that right. because I'm doing this, I know I probably won't be able to. That's what you're saying. Man, all I got to say is I wish people would just stop. Yo, hey, hey, kick the bitch. I'm not doing that right now. Stop doing that uh, in the middle man. of a conversation. So y'all got, that's how you moderate. My dogs are doing too much in the backyard. I chain that ass up. You know what they start remembering? Last time I did that, I went on the chain. I want to run the yard. So let's hear Kamora. I hope she tell us about the abuse. Yeah, run the yard. I want to hear what she got to say. Eric, hear that audio? Kids are brainwashed. All of a sudden now, these young women who are grown women are babies. You know, you, they, they have their own relationship with you. You have their, your own non-existent relationship with them. I'm just asking that you please leave us alone. You know, I've tried to go to lawyers and get help. I've tried to show all the crazy texts I've had to block. Like, you do crazy shit like send pic, pic, f- flowers to yourself and take a picture and send post it on the gram and tell everybody I sent you flowers. Again, I have receipts of all of this. I have receipts from your office saying that you sent flowers to yourself without my permission. I have all of this. You guys have never seen it because it just doesn't warrant, you know, it doesn't rise to that occasion. I mind my own business, but please don't attack my children. They've been through so much. Um, Don't attack my, my family, which is supposed to be your family too. Don't do that because you're, you know, you're at rock bottom. You, I don't know. Hypothetically, you're at rock bottom. You've hit the bottom. I don't know. You're grasping at straws. I don't know if this is a money grab. I don't really know what this is. I think it's probably all of the above. I have to say, I think, and allegedly, and all these things, just so I can be, you know, right in saying, like, my feelings and how I feel, what I think. Um, but... I ha- I met this person when I was um, in high school. That was the end of it. Okay, and oh, we're gonna. What do you mean a money grab? What the fuck is? Let's see. I listen to what people say. And again, she never said what the abuse was. See, I'm a father. I can see this whole shit. 
me and you got an issue. Now I'm calling my kids. They ain't answering the phone because you done went over there and, and told them some shit. And I'm saying, that's cool. Since you're not answering the phone, you see me calling your father. I keep this same energy when you call me, your ass want to go over here and you call me, you want to do this. Don't call me. Call your mama. That ain't abuse. That's a good point, Rod. All right, listen. You ain't going to just feed me anything. Here go steak and I know it's eggs. Here go eggs and I know it's steak. Nah, motherfucker, that. Human nature. We are going to give a descriptive of what it is that we're talking about when we can prove that that's what it is. I didn't hear a descriptive of the abuse. Can I get my bean back? Thank you. You finna get spun. What? Man. You're mate. You were in the matrix. Why? You weren't saying. Okay. Keep playing. So, where is the descriptive of the abuse? Well, here we got Russell Sims' response to all the shit that they're doing. Eric, yeah, you want to? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Aaliyah. You can go ahead, Mama. Oh, no, no, no. I'll jump in after that. Go ahead. Come on, man. Come on. Y'all get to doing. This is weird. No, no, go. No, no, motherfucker. Go, go. go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, right. Russell Simmons did respond back um, to everything. It says, Aoki leaves a, a post-muted video of Russell screaming at the family. Is he even? Big. Let us hear what he's saying. So I think yeah, she posted the muted version because she said, allegedly, she said what he's saying. She didn't want to post it. Um, I guess, I don't know. Apparently, it's so So bad. now you're playing a game to a match. Yeah, she is. Yeah. If you're mad at a person, do you give a fuck about the people hearing what they're saying? Nope. Not at all. Let's hear Russ. They ain't even post Russ. So with Kamora, what she did, the girl did was post a video of him yelling. So it, all we see is just him yelling. So we don't know. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know what he was saying. Exactly. They're trying to I'll, set up I'll, Russell. I'll, okay. I feel like they're trying to set Russell up. I, I see it. <laughs> Nigga, like they said, they paid in full. Like they said, they paid in full. I'm rolling with Russ. Y'all kids don't probably know what I'm talking about. No, I. Yeah, I know y'all know because y'all don't even know what paid in full is. I know what paid in full is. I'm just horrible. The movie. What is it? What's paid in full? Paid in full is a movie with eight. No, it's, it's not. A it's a song. song by Eric. Oh, oh, yeah, that's on. Paid in full. Yeah, by Eric B and Rakim. And at the end of the song, they go through what we doing. We got rug. We got this, we got that, we got that, we got Russ Town Management, and they say fuck it, I'm rolling, we rolling with Russ. And together we gonna get paid in full. Doom, 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 doom. Y'all kids thinking of a master plan. It ain't nothing but sweat and sign. Right. That's how the movie opened up. We know that. Hey. Ain't no, oh, it's not a movie. It's a song. It's not a song. movie. Okay. It's a song. I was just saying that song comes it's... on in the beginning of Pay the Fool, the movie. That's all. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> it, it, I'm this, sorry. The movie oh, did come on like that. I like that part. Oh that shit do go hard. You yeah. do not get to the part Rock him. that rolling with Russ yeah, on right. that movie. Right. I know I'm right. It I just it was the beginning part I got I, me hype. But you I... do not get the whole gist of this was the ending. They said when they went through all their options, they said, I'm rolling with Russ. Is this a money grab? None she's talking about makes sense. What the fuck did a money grab, bitch? He is the money. He is the people. Like, like, like baby fat didn't come from him. He didn't give it to you. The fuck are you talking about a money grab? How is this a money grab? How does he make money off this? You're trying to kill his money. Let's fucking be real. Like, sometimes y'all got to listen in the world we in, because I, I, I be the, I'm always in the middle of these storms. Yeah, but what about, my nigga, do you hear what you're saying? How does that make sense? This makes sense of what they're saying. 
Yeah, it doesn't make sense what they saying. Or even if they're if y'all are trying to allege something, say what the allegations are. Like, why are y'all pussy for the around? only reason why a nigga ain't gonna say it because it ain't there. You put up a video. Hey, it's a video on Instagram talking about Russ cut off. I don't know if y'all can get that. It's on the shade room. The only thing of abuse that, there go. that I can't seem to relate to this. And everybody probably grown. All the kids, everything grown, right? Yeah, they're grown. Yeah. He there said she said that she cut him off because uh, in college or some shit like that. I don't I'm at work, I can't play it right now, but it's on the shade room. Her talking about why she cut him off. It's the uh, why he, he cut him off, that's why she mad. I think we played that audio already. I don't think that was the of reason. That nature. No, it was a different yeah. it's it's just listen to it. Nigga, hey bro, you cut the kids off too, nigga. Hey, get a certain age, you acting crazy. Nigga, I'm letting you know right now, the minute my kids start showing any signs of going against me, nigga, you gonna go your way and I'm gonna go mine. Do what you do. Yeah, that's a fact. Like, fuck. You done spent all this money and invested in these kids and they, they ain't no more than you. I know how it go. You women know what y'all do. First thing y'all wanna do is turn the kids on the nigga. They use the kids. And you know what women do? You know what men do today? Fuck both of y'all. I'm out. Oh, I'm gonna make some Yeah, that's facts. We that, hey, look. That, that, I'm letting all you women know we don't, nigga. We. Hold on, somebody tried to call him. I think he. I think back. he went out. Oh, okay. I did cool. find the um the the shade room post where it says Kilora Lee accuses Russell Simmons of attacking her family. Ming Lee's Father's Day post where he cut his daughters off. Uh, while they were trying to get into college. So this is more audio of what had happened. Um, so I guess you cut off the kids. Right you the were right. Oh, hold on. Wait. Wait. I'm letting oh. y'all know right now. I want I want y'all to hear this. I'm going to say this shit real slow. Stop playing the kids and inserting the kids in grown folks conversation. Because you're going to give them one side, and that's going to force them kids to start treating that other parent different. And when that happens, then the parent, the man of today, is going to start treating them different. Then you're going to start to see the effect on your kids, and you're going to say, you're a bad this, you're a bad that. No, he is the leaf in the branch, bitch. You the root. Without you doing what you did, it, the parent, the kid don't start reacting the way they reacted towards the father, and then all that ain't going on. Now, here goes the reality check. Nine out of ten women that are single are out there single with children. A man will rather play daddy to some kids that ain't his that's acknowledging, loving, and respecting him then be a father to some motherfucking disrespectful, belligerent ass motherfucking kids that's over there call up in their mama's web. Y'all better tread lightly. Yeah, I agree with that. Sometimes women do be trying to like recruit their kids and hate their damn dad. Yeah, I think that is super corny. Like, I hate when I see that because it puts them in a weird situation. Like, the man should always be the head, no matter what's going on in the relationship. The kids should always respect the man. Like, you should always give the man or head flowers. But, yeah, trying to recruit kids to hate a dad or to try to get on the side of the mom, that'd be weird energy. Yeah, that's just weird. Man, and that should happen energy. all the time and every day. That's so bad. Yeah. I, go through through that, I go through that with my say, my, my oldest son. I go through that same shit. My bitch won't, won't let me take him, won't let me do nothing. She don't let me do nothing with him. And she, all of a sudden she wants to fuck me so I can see him. Like I have to go over there and fuck the bitch just to see my son. Nah, I ain't go doing that. I ain't doing that shit. It got me fucked up. That's yeah, so I cut off. I don't see the I don't see my son. I don't see my, son. my oldest son. He's my junior too. It is what it is. Yeah, at, a certain, kids, at a certain why? age, the kids gotta be a little smarter than that too. You know what I'm saying? When you start picking sides and shit like that, you already know what it is. If you're a grown ass kid and you make a decision to go with your moms and you know Pops is the motherfucking resource and and, and got all the cash flow, then you a dumb ass kid. I'm not even gonna say that. If you make a decision to go with your mom, go with your mom, but stay out of mom and dad business. For sure. Stay in the 
kids. The kids wind Real up shit. growing up resenting the parent that does that anyway. Like when they grow up and become parents that are they own, end up resenting all my yeah they yeah it out. they re, they they wind up resenting them. So it's a lose situation. Don't even go that route. But it sounded to me like they over there capping, rusting, turned, cut them off. Now that's that's uh, abuse. That ain't abuse. That's a cut off. Russ ain't got that obligation, nigga. Then get you companies and all kind of shit. It also audio sounds here? like she was saying she also wanted, you know, time with her dad, and there's a um, you know a strange relationship with her and her dad. So I think that's really what's affecting the, the younger girl, even though she's a grown lady now. You know, the she? younger one How out of the she? two siblings, I think that's what her is gripe she? is. The older one maybe had a relationship, so she How was tripping. She? How old is the daughter? So the, Anybody know? Very she grown. Hold on. She's, in the, she's like 20 years yeah, old. Yeah, she grown. Get the fuck out of here. She grown in the motherfucker. So whatever she trying to take on, like she trying to take on her mama feelings and feel some type of way, she putting this air and this shit out. So only grievance I can see her having is one in the relationship with her dad. But taking on your mama's problems, is not going it's not gonna go so well for you because that's between them two. Yeah, Aoki is twenty. Yeah, yeah that's that's between that. them. So it's getting weird. Pretty much same shit Wack been saying. Yeah. That's corny. And again, if they mom and dad is fighting the kids definitely need to stay out of it. If grown people is fighting let the mom and dad go through that. Girl, stay in your kid place and just reap the benefits of both your parents being rich, girl. Why is you online crying and talking about your dad is abusive? What did you talk about, sis? Shit, shit, I'm looking at her picture. Father's Day. So what's the real tea? I'm right, looking at her picture. I, I don't saying, think she was ever going to make it in the modeling agency anyway. Shit. I'm crying, Lebo. Hey, that's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> he would have made it know, just though. riding off his last name, though, to be honest, because they would have booked her. Just because it's Russell Simmons' daughter, but maybe not no more. Or Kimora Lee got supermodel, but that's even the fun the funny part about it is like it's that entitlement and nepotism, right? Because my parents are who they are. I expect them to do X, Y, and Z to put me into position in order to position myself. But you understand this, you'll never be your parents. You'll never be able to recreate what your parents have done. You have to recreate that path for yourself, right? So it's just it's that tough, tough pill that a lot of these nepotism children have to also realize that like, like you, no one, there will, Beyonce's kids probably will never sing like Beyonce. And that's fine, right? That is completely okay. Just carve that path out for you. Shout but out no one's gonna Ivy. hold your hand. But no one's gonna hold your hand once you turn what, 25, 26, 30. You gotta figure it out. You have to figure out. Yeah, that's true. These kids definitely have to figure out their own path. And it's funny that you said that because I just seen they posted uh, Romeo Miller's twin daughters. And I remember Romeo has so much to say about how his dad was a dad beat and his dad did this and his dad did that. And, um, you know, you can't provide half the lifestyle that his, you know, your dad provided for you. So it's just funny that, you know, they never really acknowledge that um, they're living off their parents' coattail, whether they, you know, believe it or not. They have a, a great advantage. I will say this, right? There was a beautiful piece that was written by, I believe, the New Yorker or the New York Post. No, New York Times, to be exact. It was called, um, she has her mom's eyes and her agent, and it talks into detail about like children who are, of, who are nepotism babies and who have these really incredible, successful parents, and then the amount of entitlement that comes with being a child of nepotism, right? And that's like, again, her situation. At, well, from what I'm getting from this audio with Kimora at the top too, is like, you cut your daughters off when they went to college. Well, a lot of kids who went to college didn't Can have parents who could afford. Didn't have parents that could afford to pay for full schooling. That's what scholarships are there. That's what financial aid is there for. A lot of students, majority of college students, have to pay their own way through college. Unfortunately, that's just what it is. I'm sorry, not everyone has a student. Yeah, I think that's true. And somebody in the chat is saying, you know, do people make all this money just to cut their children off? It's not about cutting your children off. It's just about building this lifestyle 
and your children being appreciative your children just can't grow up and disrespect you don't bite the hand that feeds you that's what i was always taught yeah that's definitely another layer um to think about because there's the narrative what you say abusing he's abusing cutting you off and said i'm not paying for you anymore because you're grown and you ain't my bitch it's not abuse that's not abuse separate things that's the thing that's the problem and like i said i pointed out and i caught on where's the descriptive of the abuse i ain't here he's slapping he's putting he's verbal he's telling her she's ugly he's telling her she's nothing telling her he'll never she'll never be nothing push her down the stairs lock her in the closet where's the abuse Oh, you know they soft whack. It don't. It don't take much for it to be abused. No, I'm no, sure they they extremely no, no, no. soft. You just did it. They extremely soft. You over just there, did so it though, right now, Rue. There's no abuse to no, say. No, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm not. I'm saying no it's no longer. Abuse. I'm saying they're trying to call everything abuse. I'm no longer footing your bill. Yeah, exactly. I'm married to you. You matter of fact, don't this woman got another baby daddy? Yep. She got multiple. two baby daddies, right? She do. Yep. Yeah, she got like four. What the fuck are we talking about? That's crazy. She should be in position that some kids should be good with or without Russ. The fuck? Okay. Her baby daddy is one of the dudes from the movie All Star. Now, one of them is connected to Epstein. Russell Simmons Isn't that sues the one she married to? For fraud. Oh, look. Russell Simmons sues ex-wife Kamora Lee for fraud and allegedly stealing stocks to pay her new husband's bail fees. Yeah, they don't want to talk about this, right? Oh, wow. Shout out to, shout yeah. out to my motherfucking captain, captain of the ghoul, Rachel White. She always quick on the draw to send me this type of shit. Russell Simmons is taking his ex-wife, Kamora Lee Simmons, and her court, current husband, Tim uh, Leisner, Leisner, the court, accusing the couple of fraud. The Def Jam co-founder filed a complaint earlier this week obtained by people in which he claimed that Lee and Leisner conspired to fraudulently transfer almost 4 million shares of the energy drink company Celsius to their accounts in order to help pay for Liger's legal and bail fees for 2018 money laundering case in which he pleaded guilty and also accused the couple of breach of contract and breach of confidential relations. Simmons and Lee were married from 98 to 2009, despite breaking up in 2006 and having maintained a friendly relationship ever since, according to People. As both business partners and co-parents of their two daughters, Ming and Aoki, in 2016, Lee and her now husband joined Simmons Investment Company. New Horizons, which is allegedly how they problems, how their problems all began. In the filing, Simmons quoted a letter that he wrote to Lee in an attempt to reaffirm my 50% of the Celsius share without getting the court involved. Throughout my entire decades-long partnership with you, I've done everything and anything to protect and promote our family, he wrote. I have never said no to any request and have always gone against my own counsel to offer up much more than any judge would even require of me in order to keep the peace. I'm shocked and saddened to see how your side has behaved in response to my repeated attempts to get an agreement from you to rightfully and legally reaffirm my 50% of Celsius shares, which have been locked up with the government after being used for your husband's bail money. Bitch, please. fuck out of here. And you know what I'm waiting for next whack? Because there's somebody out there that know how to read lips. And I was trying real hard to read his lips and I he was saying at one point you need to use your brain and think. He's saying that to his daughter. So it's some shit. Yes. This is some shit right here. Definitely woke it up, Rachel. Big facts. Now, I definitely believe that angle because even in that text message he texted his daughter, she he said to her, she stole my money. So at the end of the day, now all of a sudden, and it's mighty ironic how Kamora talk about, oh, now you broke. Well, bitch, if you stole $4 million worth of assets from the man, I can assume he is broke. 
Like, and then now you try to that gaslight nigga, his daughter. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Or not broke, First but all, come that's on. what Kimora tried to say. That's let, what she. Let's establish. Let's establish something. This is stocks in one company. This is Russell Simmons. Four million dollars don't break no nigga like that. Russ worth seven eight hundred million dollars. What are what are y'all talking about? No, she said something about him hitting rock bottom, or she tried to allude to he hit rock bottom. Like I don't know. It, it hit rock bottom. Is this a money grab? None of that made sense. She's rambling. And she again, she still has to. Even if he is, now you gotta think of what she's saying. Have you hit rock bottom and it's a money grab? I'm not paying for you, your husband, or them kids no more. Y'all grown, he grown, you grown. Is that the reason why I see a city where he hit rock bottom? That's what it sounds like. Shit crazy. Yeah, and it sounds like his daughters is not minding their business. It sounds like they trying to come to their mom's defense and it's interfering with their relationship because it's none of their business as a child. Or as their child, it's not none of their business. So I don't know. It's crazy. Has burnt out, but well, you know. And that nigga Russ probably went above and beyond. Knowing mm -hmm. him. Just to keep the motherfucking peace. Just to try to avoid shit especially, like that. Yeah, especially removing yourself from the situation and, and literally the whole country. And then you do it on Father's Day, right? <laughs> yeah, that was kind all of messy. All, all that was by design. Yeah. Wow, this is orchestrated. Crazy. This whole situation feels orchestrated. All that, all that is what that was. And what's crazy is, is like, imagine trying to call out Russell Simmons in this financial situation, which we know he's not broke, right? This, this man is definitely not broke. But it's the fact that you stole money and you took it, right? And he's upset and he's cussing her out. Now the kids in the text messages are like, she didn't do it. Why are you being like this? This is abusive, blah, 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 blah. But your mom is the one that lacks accountability right now in the relationship, right? She needs to hold herself to the yeah, facts. Because the first thing that the little girl said was that your dad, you called your my dad mom. Did this. Yeah, your dad, your dad won't pay. Your dad is doing. I can't believe. Oh my God, mom, what's wrong? Your dad, your dad. Fuck out of here. And see, I really want to say something, but I'm gonna be quiet. Cause boy, 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 boy. I'm about to holler at Russ. Russ, let me holler at you, bro. Let me let you know what's really going on with this motherfucker, man. No, for real, though, because she, she doing way too much. <clears throat> Fuck out of here. And you know your shit stink like a motherfucker. Yeah, and it seems like they trying to play on people's emotions because they get online and start crying, and they, you know, say whatever they got to say, but then... They get online and only show Russell's actions and they don't allow the audio to be played in full context. So it does seem a little strategic. That's not even showing the action. That's just showing he's expressing himself about something. Yeah. So we don't know what it was about. It could have been about her her moral, her date. She went on prom with somebody and wore some revealing. We don't know what context that video was in. So just playing that, that doesn't really give us context of abuse, showing somebody's angry. It sounds like we did get a little bit of an insider there, though. If Russ is suing her and her current hubby for whatever they've done as far as money laundering or, or you know, alleged activities with financial shit, uh, this could be the reason, a little bit of a reason why she would go out of her way to make sure she sits up here and puts on the crying face and do a video. When have we ever seen Kamora do that? Ever. Never. Never. When have we ever seen her Never. kids step out of the pocket? Never. And the youngest one is the closest one to the mother. Cause that's the baby out of the two siblings. That's why I said the young, the older one, literally, she ain't saying shit. So she probably got her daddy back and just kind of like sitting back and watching the other two act a fool. And so I think we did get a little bit insider to why they did this, and that possibly was because of this whole uh, lawsuit. Could be, never know. Damaging his character. Cut her ass off. That's what it mm -hmm. is. It's over with.
It's over. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. You played yourself. <laughs> there it go. Yeah, paying your dad as an angry black man, that's corny as hell, though. Like, how? That's not even a win. I like being an angry black man. Yeah, on somebody else, but just to try to make yourself seem like a victim to your own dad, and then you keep eluding abuse charges, that leaves the door open because you know somebody can run and be like, oh, now Russell will creep, he out here sexually abusing his daughter. So, like, why would you even want that type of anything to be out there on your dad? You know, that's why. I like being an angry black man. The angry black man, it works sometimes, but trying to paint this narrative on your dad, like as an angry black man to your boyfriend, that's cool to be like, look, don't mess with me. My dad ain't, you know, he with the shits, but to try to say online, my dad is abusing me. Nah, that's, that's not cool. Again, they never said what's the abuse. You know why they ain't gonna play with that nigga with that? Cause he'll bust that ass with slander. Oh, he up in court. And yeah, she kept going on about, oh, he sent himself flowers from me. Girl, who gives a shit? And Who's I heard that? It was like, bitch, you reaching. Yeah, it definitely you was reaching. giving reaching, but. I don't know. Shout out to all the dads. Again, don't put no pressure on yourself thinking that because y'all not rich. Because y'all already see Russell Simmons. He can't even hold it down. So, you know, make sure y'all bless y'all efforts. If y'all getting up doing what y'all got to do, that's enough. Don't put no pressure on yourself. You know what I'm saying? But um, we're going to keep it rolling with these hot topics. So 